Hi guys, it's Laura from How To Get Your Shit Together and in this video I am sharing the one question that I ask myself when I want to increase my productivity today and lighten my load so I have less to do tomorrow. Let's go! If you have been following me for any decent length of time, you probably already have a few tricks up your sleeve for getting more done. And if you're a student on my e-course, The Productivity Power Up, then you're pretty much a productivity machine. But here is a little hack that I use to make sure that I finish off my to-do list for the day and to stop everything from just rolling forward to the next day. Because I don't know about you, but my arse just wants to sink into the sofa when the sun goes down and my daughter goes to bed and then not move for the entire evening. But then I go to bed feeling bad because there are a few things that I just didn't get done and I know I'm just gonna have to do them the next day. And then the cycle just repeats itself so that by the end of the week, I've barely managed to get anything done at all. Thumbs up if you know that feeling. So I ask myself this question, what can I do today that will lighten my load tomorrow. This works really, really well for me because even though I'm usually quite a productive and ambitious person and I like being organized, I also quite like naps and just generally doing nothing. So if I know that just sucking it up for a few minutes today will save me a lot of time and a lot of hassle the following day, I'm all over it. So let me give you an example. A while ago I had a pretty lazy relaxed day. No pressing obligations but I knew that the following day I would have a play date for my daughter, then I had to do a big grocery shop and then I had a friend coming over to visit. So I asked myself what I could do that would make the following day less hectic for me. The answer was to pick out outfits for both myself and my daughter to wear to the play date so that I didn't have to fuss with clothes in the morning, to write a shopping list so that I could get in and out of the supermarket as quickly as possible and not forget anything, and to do a quick tidy of the house so that I wasn't, you know, just panic scrubbing everything in the few moments before my friend arrived. The result? I still got to enjoy like 95% of my lazy day with the added bonus of having actually achieved something. And I got to feel smug and super organized and stress-free the following day. Win, 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 win. For me, I organize and schedule things because it makes my life easier. I don't want to be working non-stop. I want to be sure that I'm doing the little things today that will make a big difference tomorrow. So here are some examples of things that you could do to stop yourself feeling like you have become one with the couch. Have outfits picked out the night before. This saves me so much time and stress in the morning. If you're going somewhere, have your bag already packed and ready to go so all you have to do is grab it on the way out. So handy. Do a quick tidy of the kind of main areas, the main surfaces in your home. I don't know about you, but if I wake up to a messy kitchen, that is my day ruined. I won't be able to concentrate on anything until I've cleaned it, and then I'll spend the rest of the day sulking about it. So those few minutes that I spend in the evening actually pretty much save me an entire day's work. Pack a lunch or prepare a meal or a snack for the following day. So, you know, maybe just chop up some veg or write out a quick meal plan. Good for your sanity and your waistline. Write out a plan or to-do list for the following day. Every weekend I sit down and I plan out the coming week as best I can and then each evening I have a look at my list for the following day and just make any changes that are necessary. It means that as soon as I am out of bed and half awake I can hit the ground running. I've actually written a blog post on exactly how I plan my days, you know, what apps I use etc. So I will link that below in the description box so you can go check that out. Sometimes it will be as simple as just cancelling something or deciding that you don't want to do a particular task at all. That little decision will only take you a few seconds but it will free up a large chunk of time and energy for you. There will also be those days when you manage to complete everything on your to-do list early or something gets cancelled and you just have much more free time available to you than you anticipated. You lucky bastard. Or you're just having a lazy day and not feeling very productive at all. But instead of wallowing in sweat and slippers and then spending the following day running around like a blue arsed fly, ask yourself, 
what can I do today that will lighten my load tomorrow? You'll also be glad of it on those days when something crops up last minute. Always happens. Two minutes of work now could save you two hours of grief down the line. And that is a wrap. Thumbs up if you think that this is something that could work really well for you. Think of one thing that you could do right now that would save you time tomorrow. Comment below, let me know what it is and then go do it. You'll thank me tomorrow when you've got 10 extra minutes in bed. Maybe your one thing could be subscribing to this channel if you haven't already because I upload new videos every Thursday to help you live a simpler, happier, more efficient life. Who knew watching YouTube videos could actually save you time? You owe it to your future self to subscribe. Until next time, I am going to make a start on editing this video straight away so that I don't have to do it all tomorrow. Kermila Mahagav, August Becky Mayship Shikalua, Slan. Oh, I think I've got the black lung pops.